he talked about me and Eric not, and, and, and I'm not even mad at Eric anymore, but I just, it's important that people know the real story, you know, and as long until the story is really straightened out. And if I got to have Bill Watts come on the show or Bill Shaw, I will. I did not make my deal with Eric to come back. I made it with Bill Watts and he got in trouble over a comment he made about Hank Aaron. I can't remember what it was. And he was gone when I landed there, and Ole Anderson was the boss. And Ole said to me, what good are you to me after you just did a job on national TV for Kurt Henning last night, or whatever it was? And I said, I'll tell you how I feel about that comment. And I walked next door to Bob Dew, and I said, Bob, it's me or Ole. Make up your mind. I can fly back to New York tomorrow. I did not leave on bad terms. And he said? Goodbye, Ole. That's why Ole and I don't get along. He's never gotten over it. I, I could give a shit. It's the truth. It was me or Ole. Yep. Well, they made their bed, and it was a good bed. Uh, I think they did right. Well, no, I'm just saying, I mean, it it didn't matter whether I did a job on national TV or not. I did it on national TV. Right. And it got a rating. (laughs) Guess what? WCW was so far gone. He was running, he was running WCW the way Vern was running a, a, uh, the AWA in the seventies. I mean, really, what good, what, I mean, I, I, and this, this had nothing to do with me. What good did it do to have Mick Foley living underground? Nothing. That wasn't my call. <laughs> you know that, right? Yeah. What, I don't, what was that angle called again? Where he's living underground? Yeah. Remember that? Uh, Yeah. I can't remember either, but I mean, what, what would they have him? I can't remember what it was, but good Lord. That's where he's in a cave, living in a cave. I, I don't know, 